Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to um, adjust the aperture opening on one of these Subaru um, cold start idle air control valves. This is on my Vortex, so I've uh, bypassed the one that's originally under the manifold with one of these common um, Series 1 EA82 valves. They're also found on some Nissans. Uh, just because they're easier to find and um, I think they work a little bit better and also they're externally adjustable. Uh, so first we have to pull off the top, this part here, to get to the adjustment of it. So I'm going to hit this seam with the heat gun and then try and pry it open. Okay, there it is, tops off. Now, not the cleanest removal ever, because they've vulcanized on, but we're going to seal that again later with some sealant, and it's all hidden. So there we go, there's the aperture controller, that thing that houses the bimetallic spring and the coil and everything. So all we need to do is adjust these this whole housing under these screws, adjust it on the slot and open it up a bit. Here's another valve here I had on hand. This is the underside. So this is the aperture plate which spins around on the housing. So the holes on the housing and the controlled aperture is on the brass plate. So to open it we need to turn it clockwise on the bottom which will be anti-clockwise on the top. So we need to open these two screws and turn the housing counterclockwise a little. This of course is to speed the cold idle up. If you want to go the other way, to slow it down when it's cold, well then you turn the aperture clockwise. As you can see, once we're inside the valve, the actual adjustment of it is very simple. So I'm going to go about that far. And that's the first adjustment I'm going to try, see if that improved my idle. So all we need to do to do that is to just put the airflow meter back in the intake boot and plug the cable on. We don't need to have the air filter back on for that. Of course, on your car, the valve won't be buried down here beside the airbox. This is just a retrofit. So we won't have to do that either.
I'm just going to clean this corner up where I busted it open here. And I'm um, going to put a little bit of ultra grey sealant just around that seam and stick it shut. But first, obviously, I'll try the speed and adjust it where necessary. So that's about it to adjust the uh, oil speed control valve. You can fiddle with that till, uh, till you're content with the speed you like. Thank you.